Uh, one of the great underappreciated stories of this year is the way that payment technology companies are branching out into the money lending business. Take Square, which you probably recognize from its point of sale technology, that can turn any phone or tablet into a credit card reader, or its cash app that's taking share in the peer-to-peer -peer payment space. But for me, actually, the most intriguing part of the story is Square Capital. See, thanks to the point of sale uh, systems, Square has an enormous amount of data about how much money their clients are actually making. If you're one of the small, medium-sized businesses that uses Square, they don't really have their finger on the pulse of your cash register. That gives them a better view of your prospects than, say, a, a bank. Plus, Square Capital doesn't need to worry as much as be about being paid back because they can collect interest payments directly from a business, uh, business receipts. And we're going to talk to you more about how they have been actually one of the most conservative lenders I've ever seen. Now, Square stock sold off hard last week after the company reported the results were strong. But the guidance for next quarter was perceived by some as a little light, given that the stock had run up dramatically, which is what I think was more important. Anything less than perfection was going to be punished. But I like this story, and you know I have for it. Since it was 12 bucks, I especially like that Square Capital facilitated 72 thousand business loans, totaling 472 million last year, up 55 percent year over year. So I think it's time to take a closer look with Jackie Reeses, the chief people officer of Square and the head of Square Capital, learn more about how they're revolutionizing the lending industry. Ms. Reeses, welcome to Mad Money. Hi. Good to see you, Jackie. Thanks. How are you? Wonderful. Our, our Wonderful. past never crossed at Goldman, and I'm a client. In full, in full disclosure of Square, we haven't crossed there, so I welcome know. to the show. I know. Well, I'm happy to be here, and I think your points about the access that Square Capital provides are spot on. You know, our ability to extend access to small businesses who've never had access to credit, I'm very appreciative for your uh, your well, comments. Well, look, you've got these restaurants that make 600, that have 650,000 in reps, okay? And they, I've got to tell you, because I'm in that business, it, unless you're incredibly well capitalized, you're going to have trouble. Yep. But you may be a real good payer. Only Square empowers you, though. Yeah, no, agree. And we've done a lot of business with restaurants across the country. Right. It's a huge portion of our business. And I think one of the unique differentiators of our product is that we could see the data that comes across payments. So we can see the success of these businesses like restaurants who've historically been left out of the financial system because of the type of business that they are. But the reality is they're wonderful businesses. And if they just had access to, to credit, we could help them grow. We could help them get through weekends. We can help them get through variations in their cash flow. And I think that's why we're so proud of the product that we have. Well, when I first met Sarah Fryer, I said, who's now moved on to next door, which is a cool opportunity. Yeah. I said, no, come on. You're telling me if the restaurant thinly capitalized, you got a couple of snowstorms and some weekends, that they don't stiff you. And she explained, no, they're good risk for you. So they're great risk. And so what happens is that a seller, assuming that they are processing consistently on Square, on their dashboard, we let them know that they have a loan that's available. And it shows up every day that they continue to be eligible. And they could click on a screen, three screens through, and with the next day, they could have the capital. And so when you see that weather might change, you might need to buy something. Something breaks. You want to build a new facility. You take out the loan, and it gives you the flexibility where, let's just say in that situation where it snows, and you're closed for three days. Well, the way our product works, it's very flexible. You pay back with a percentage of card swipes. And so in slow days, you wouldn't pay any of the loan back. And then on faster days, it obviously pays back more. And so the average payback period for our loans is about 10 months. But it gives small businesses that flexibility when they need it in just the situation you're talking about. Well, your default ratio seems appreciably lower than most lending institutions. So uh, we're proud of um, our default rate. We say that it is approximately 4%. And the way we think about defaults is that it's an input, not an output. And so we look at how we manage risk and how we uh, make sure that we're being prudent from a risk management point of view, but also look at how we can open up access to small businesses that have otherwise not been allowed into the financial system. One thing that's exciting, and I, we should have gotten the cash, you got to come back, there's so much, the cash app, the yep. instant deposit, but I like the square to square seller where they, you are actually waive the 2.75. Yeah, which on, is really on the new Square card. Yeah. So um, we announced not too long ago the beautiful Square card. It's white, it's gorgeous, and it's a debit card for businesses. And so it makes a business's life much easier in that they could go spend on the receipts that they have brought in. 
liquidity and giving instant cash to our sellers has always been really important to us. It's about speed. Right. Uh, and as a restaurateur, you see it too on Friday oh, night. Oh, of course. If you need to go buy more supplies, you need something like a Square Card in order to go spend money at your local supplier. And the Square Card gives that ability to small businesses. It's a really great tool that we're it, proud of. I would be remiss not to tell you that we use Caviar because it's the best in a very competitive environment. And the ecosystem really works. Great restaurants on Caviar. <laughs> the best, right? <laughs> last, last thing. Um, versus Venmo. Room for everybody. You did 47.6 million downloads. They're doing 42.8. You're pretty competitive. Yeah, so Cash App has been on a great run. And um, we announced on our earnings call that we now have 15 million monthly active customers. Um, and they've seen incredible growth. But if you look at what they've released in the past year, um, buying um, Bitcoin in a really seamless way, a debit card, ATM access, their uh, Cash App card is absolutely beautiful, black, laser etched handwriting. Cool. It's so easy to use that it's just a great product. Well, I'm so glad you came on. We want to do more and more with Square because this part of the new economy that I like, empowerment. Empowerment, that's what matters. That's Jackie Reese, she's the head of Square Capital, doing good, purpose-led, okay? The purpose-led companies are the ones that we want to bank on in 2019. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.